I'm proud of. I'm gonna put a price on it, and you pay, you pay, and if you don't, you don't. So I hope to answer your question. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. And you pay, you pay, and if you don't, you don't. So I hope to answer your question. It has been confirmed that there are lot lizards in the truck. In this clip that we about to see by Clarissa Rankin, she says that these ladies out here be making TikToks that be looking fun and exciting. And majority of you guys be doing some provocative things in the truck. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. I'm just going to go to be the one to say this because I've been seeing a lot of this. A lot of women be getting in trucking for the wrong reason. I know that some of us females that make content make it look fun and exciting because we got our headsets on and we got our long nails and we can work this steering wheel and, and still be able to be home with our family and wherever we want to wear, you know, stuff like that. But, baby, let me tell you something. Don't get behind this steering wheel and become a lot less on wheels. You ain't no different than the hole on the ground and the lot, Okay. The only thing different is that lot lizard walking in heels and you driving on wheels. That's the only thing different. Keep your legs closed. Get up the road. Stay between the mayo and mustard. Make your money. Get back home. Experience life. Experience different food. Meet different people. But don't open up your legs to become a lot lizard on wheels. Because you ain't no different from the lot lizards on heels. Okay? Okay? Say it loud. Say it proud. It's what? It's truckers life, baby. I'm just saying, believe that right there, baby. In this next clip right here, we have somebody that made a rebuttal, that made a reply. This young lady says, yo, Clarissa, leave that alone. Leave that alone. Don't, don't worry about what I'm doing over here. You don't worry about what I'm doing over here. You know, stuff like that. But, baby, let me tell you something. Don't get behind this steering wheel and become a lot less. See? Right there, I had to stop it. Because you ain't going to tell me what not to do on this road, baby. These wheels going to make meals either way. And you got your opinion on how to make money. But, baby, money is for everybody. Don't tell, don't stop me on my side hustle, okay? She can do that in her heels. I can do that in my heels on these wheels and make meals. Because, baby, if I see it and it work with me, that's my extra bonus. That's my extra bonus, baby. Because if I can back this truck up, I can back this wagon up. And if I can stay in these lanes, I can stay in my lanes with anything else. I hear you. Everybody got their opinion about women. You can keep that. But on your behalf for you, you can worry about yours. Because what I'm going to do with mine, <laughs> I'm going to do with mine. Because mamas, I got to do what I got to do. Get all I need to get. I'm just saying. So don't tell me what not to do. That's going to dare me to do it and do it better. <laughs> so you can stay with that one paycheck and everything else. But honey, I need multiple incomes. And I'm going to get it one way or another. And that's H-A-Y-G. She says she needs multiple incomes and she's going to get it one way or the other. And the easiest way to do it is to become an over-the-road female truck driver and be available for these trucker men to enjoy. Well, somebody did come back and ask her, like, yo, how much? Like, how much do you charge? She got an answer for you. Okay, how much I get paid? Okay, people got different opinions on Lot Lizard. Okay. I'm not I'm not walking up and down these parking lots. I have a selective amount of clients on who I talk to and we communicate throughout the week on like when we meet up. Like on a realistic night, like on the long haul, I'ma say like cause it's three a piece, three, six, nine, nine a week, or if I can squeeze another person in, that'd be 12 a week. On addition to me trucking, because I am OTR. Because I'm real picky. I'm not doing everybody. I have a select amount of people because, girl, you'll be shocked how men be trying to argue on how you're going to put a price on what you know you're worth. 
I don't got time for that. This is what it is. You gonna pay it. Okay. If you not get out my face, I'm not gonna debate with you. I'm just saying. But that's that's how much I get paid, boo. That's how much I get paid and their clients, so it's a steady pay. Don't nobody be flaking. It's either cash in my hand. It's either Zelle. Let's see the cash app, Venmo, but I have a selective amount of individuals. You can't do this with everybody. And like I said, people be trying to belittle your worth. And once you belittle my worth, I'm doubling that price. Because you may not pay for it, somebody else will. Like people be out here buying this Gucci and Louis Vuitton. For the same price you could get at a Burlington Ross or Marshalls. I'm proud of. I'm going to put a price on it. And you pay it, you pay it. If you don't, you don't. So I hope to answer your question on what I do and how I do it. Sometimes I'll be like, I can't, I can't do you today. I gotta work. It's all about scheduling. Woo! Three a piece. She ain't playing. Three a piece, and she says she do maybe about three clients, maybe four a week. That's twelve k extra in her pocket, bro. That is 12K extra in her pocket. Now, she says she don't walk up and down truck stops, you know, that, and that's a good thing, you know, maybe safety reasons. But she do got clients. Maybe she might have a client in, in New York, maybe a client down in Texas, maybe a client down in Florida. You know, the client will call her up. Or something like that. They'd be like, hey, when the next time you're going to be rolling my way? She could be like, yo, you know, I'm on my way down there right now. Where you want me to meet you at? Because I'm sure they're not getting a clap session for $300 in a truck. I know I won't be paying no $300 for a clap session in the truck. And, bro, I, I, I hope you have the blue pill. Because $300 is a lot of money, bro. You're going to need some stamina. <laughs> you better drink some five-hour energy, some Red Bull, and the blue pill, my guy. <laughs> $300. I'm sure you'll be whole hell upset if you get up in there and you be like, oh, 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 oh. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. That's, mm -mm. That's crazy. A whole clap session with this 304 in the truck is $300, $300 a piece. She, she could squeeze in maybe four, four clients in a week, along with the maybe 15, 12 or so K that she makes in trucking. That's a whole, you know, maybe that's a whole extra money on the side business. Well, she's not finished because somebody clapped at her in the comment session. <sighs> okay. Sad to see the trucking industry F up now. What you sad for? It's most of the males that's supporting the business. <laughs> you sad about what most of the men is supporting. You said about me working in it, but the men is supporting it. And it's always a male that has an issue with it or like another woman. Why y'all worried about what I do? Focus on y'all wheels. I'm starting to think like people getting upset that it's either A, you didn't think about it sooner or B, I'm coming out publicly about it. Or C, it's 2023, mind your business. Like, woman to woman is disrespectful. Why are you worried about my coaching? 
Why are you worried about how I occupy my time? That's what's wrong with y'all old heads. That old generation, y'all always in somebody business. Just window shop. Look at that window. Look at that shirt. Keep on walking. Like the new generation, we do what we do. We mind our business. Y'all always got to say something. Like, yeah, the new generation doing different shit, but the old generation always be thinking what you say is relevant. It's not. You're not my family member. You're not my friend. You don't put no money in my pocket. What you talking for? Like, yeah, I am know I'm on public media about it. It's just how you addressing it to me. I know it's bad. The whole world know it's bad. You saying it for what we already know. I'm just letting you know. People out here doing it. And it's possible to do it. It's entrepreneurship. Like, and my thing is, the trucking industry fucked up now. It's a lot of things messed up now that y'all want to shake y'all head about what I'm doing. And how I'm doing it. Like once again, that first TikTok, don't tell me what to do and what not to do. If I don't listen to my parents, how am I going to listen to you? <laughs> I, I, I have no words. I have no words because I do agree with her. I hate to say this, but I do agree with this young lady right here. It is the men. It is us men that supports the business, but it's also us men that be mad because they're in the business, but we're mad when they talking, when they charging for the business. I mean, the men, I mean, it's like I said, we run and jump on TikTok and we watch all these modern females what, why do we watch them for? Why do we watch them for? Because of their parents. Because of their traction. If they coming on TikTok in their bra and panties inside of the truck, you ain't listening to what they, what, what they talking about unless they talking about something sassy. But when they start talking about, oh, well, you need to do this, that, and the third for the truck, and you need to pre-trip a truck, and all. It's all sound like Peanuts teacher right now. Oh, good grief. Yes, ma'am? That's what it sounds like, because y'all not paying attention. These ladies know how to get your attention. I'm telling you. These ladies know how to get your attention. There's female truckers that are actually sleeping half naked in the truck on live on TikTok. On a live feed, I kid you not, I caught a live feed of a female that was actually asleep, had the camera at an angle pointed down at her sleeper, half naked, bra and panties on, sleep. And ain't talking about a lick of trucking. And and everybody in the in in the in the live feed is sending them gifts. I, I I don't even know how that gift stuff works, man. But everybody, especially the men that was in that chat session over there, like, mm, I wish I was laying next to you. Mm, turn over, baby. Mm, do this and do that. The girl sleeps. She can't hear you. Hold on. <laughs> I don't know what makes these people think that they making a whole lot of money in trucking and all these, these girls out here leaving their homes and families going across country and they not going to sell that thing. They selling that thing. Uh, I told you before. 
It's what? like when we was in the military, when they joined the females with the males in the military, we was happy. Yes. Amy, I, every time I go on, I don't go on that much, but when I go on, I see all these new females. Say, Congratulations, I just got my CDL. I'm going to be out here. And they throw money up. I'm like, mm, yeah, you're going to be tricking in a minute. <laughs> about, six weeks down, about six weeks in, that thing going to get the pumping. And that seat vibe rocking back and forth and all them bumps are hitting in them Cascadias. <laughs> yep, you're going to be giving it up soon. It was a clear black night, a clear white moon where Reggie was on the streets trying to consume some skirts for the E so I could get some phones rolling in my ride, chilling on the line. 